Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. Hey, Tom Ross. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, we're here for some standard featuring some new cards. Oh, yeah. From Oath of the Gatewatch. Now, uh... Funky name for a set aside. I think that I'm really digging the the vibe coming from uh, Oath of the Gate Watch. You know, there's there was a, a little bit of a negative stigma I think attached to uh, Battle for Zendikar when it first came out. You know, people um, saw you know the new Gideon, uh, the new Ulamog, the Battlelands, and then after that there wasn't like a ton that people were really excited about. And it took people a long time to really figure out uh, how some of these cards should interact with each other. Um, you know, everything wasn't uh, immediately uh, recognizable on the surface, and it, and it took some time. With Oath of the Gay Watch, I don't know if that's going to be the case. There's a lot of cards right out of the gate that just look insane. Yeah, not even much of the spoiler has been done at this point of filming. There's only about 80 cards out, but I really like all the Oath. I like the new Planeswalkers, Nessa and Chandra. Um, the Sweepers look pretty good. The, the Infest Black card, the Exiles, and even Coastal Return looks just crazy good. Yeah, so uh, today we're going to be playing uh, a few decks. I'm playing a, a more stock-ish, I guess, Esper Control deck. We're not playing Dragons. We're not really playing Tokens. This is something that uh, I think was made popular by Reed Duke uh, earlier on in the season after Battle for Zendikar came out. I think that uh, the new Linvala, I think it's Linvala the Returned or the Redeemed? The Preserver, or? maybe? The Preserver. Limbala the Preserver, I think, is, is going to be a, a, a great control finisher. I think it acts a lot like a Broodmate Dragon that can kind of catch you up on life total. So you're able to leverage your life total early on to take uh, you know a few hits of damage. So you can set up stuff like Dick Through Time, um, you know, just play a few more removal spells out, and then just play this card that just catches you back up immediately. So I'm pretty excited to see just how good the new Limbala is. And that's the what my deck's going to be focused around as my win condition. The rest is pretty stock. You know, we have some Anticipates. We got Majoring network uh to help fuel stuff like ugin as well as uh clash of wills and a couple other big colorless things but uh for the most part pretty stockish esper deck what are you playing tom i'm playing naya gatewatch deck it has a bunch of oaths and a bunch of planeswalkers in it you can check out the deck tech up there um but basically my deck does is make a lot of tokens um utilize the oaths pretty well together and use kind of anthem effects either soren's plus one or gideon's emblem or even this is minus to put a counter on each creature you control just trying to just flood the board. Yep, should be uh, a good game. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with that, and we'll see who comes out on top. Do it. All right, we're going to play 7-11 game, see who goes first. 7, auto lose, 11, auto win, tie, reroll. 10, Ten nine. 9. Should have said high roll. 8, 9. Yeah, we should have just high rolled. Out of 1 already. Made it easier. Man, we're both rolling pretty good. We rolled a bunch of 9s. It's Hot. crazy. All right, dead. Out. All right, Tom gets to go first. Let's see what kind of mess of hands <laughs> find. Looks like an absent hand. All right, let's keep. Wow, yeah, my hand looks pretty good for this matchup, so we'll definitely keep that. Not All showcasing right. any of the new cards. Uh, also can't get black mana, but whatever. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I thought that meant you were just going <laughs> to ward me to death super fast. <laughs> go. Oh, I wish. I don't. All right. Hang it back. This feels like when we first started doing Battle for Zendikar in every deck, which is a hanger back deck. Gonna get your charge up on already. Charge it. I won't. You charge your hanger back. I'll charge my majoring network. Both pass turn. Uh, both, both happy. I think I am. Yeah, go. All right. Put a counter on this doohickey. Let's do that while I can. All right. Go. I think I'm just going to get a planes here. Uh, might need. I want to keep the Cinder Glade in my deck. I mean, the, not the Cinder Glade, the, uh, the other Canopy Vista in my deck. In case I have to draw a fetch land, need to get it. Yeah, I'm plus sure you, you just want to make sure that if you draw a, a fetch land, you can get the battle land you need untapped. So I do that a lot in Jeskai Black, just over fetch basics. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Hit. Smash. All right. 18, 19. Probably going to get counter. Who cares? Yeah. I'll just negate that. Reasonable. All right. Draw. 
I'll play another majoring network. These are hopefully going to get out of control. Here we go. Guess I'll keep playing my cards. Uh, before you declare attacks, I I am pretty afraid of Wingmay Rock in general. I am also pretty afraid of more Planeswalkers. So this is a little tough. But I think I do just want to utter in this now. I, I probably should just utter in it on my turn if I'm going to do that. In that case, I guess I'm I'll play Mountain. Okay. Kay. Turn. All right. Well, we do keep drawing lands, which is is fortunate for us. Um, I'm gonna say go. Unfortunate for me. Okay. Level this thing. Sure. Uh. About to attack you. Okay. It attacked. Take it. Uh, fifteen. Um. Guess I can't be afraid of everything. Some has to resolve. One day. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is going to resolve. We we could have maybe kept that from happening, but uh, I really want to charge these mage rings, and I suppose, actually, yeah, that was probably a mistake because now I I think what I want to do actually is just kill one of his guys and then fill my graveyard a little bit. We could just charge both majoring networks, but that that only gets us one mana ahead for next turn. And if we just hard cast Murder's Cut for all five, we also accelerate by one mana for our deck through time. So uh, biggest overall threat I think is Warden. Even We don't really care about him gaining all the life. So uh, we could delve our graveyard and put a counter on the majoring network, but I think it's more important that we can cast dig through time this turn. All right, um, go. Interesting. I don't know if there's much difference in casting a hanger back for three or two. Let's cast this. Uh, sure. All right. Land, preacher, or planeswalker? I guess I'm getting planeswalker. Why not? Probably better than Warden. Mm, cast it. Remember, you can also tap whatever mana you want. I guess I'll tap this. Random basic lands. <laughs> uh, Oop. So the worst he can do here is just make his guys into fours. If he does that, that's fine. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I can actually... or I, I can't actually negate and dig through time this turn. Hmm. All right. I think that's okay. All right. So uh, I am going to negate this. Oh, okay. Okay. Then I'm going to attack you. All right. Uh, tax or, or trigger on the... St no. Before he attacks, I'm just going to utter in this. Sorry. Okay. All right. Guess you take so three. So take three, you gain zero. I'm at 12. Cast this for the heck of it. Okay. Yeah, I'll draw something sweet to cast next turn. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Uh, full dig for six. So uh, delve two. Uh, no way to get these counter cells back. So we'll just do that. All right, so we definitely want this white source. And the Jace isn't bad, but I think the Silk Wrap is actually better for us overall, just because of the Hangerback Walker and the token. So we'll take those two. It could have been a mistake here not uh, leave myself the ability to cast a two-drop spell, but since we do have this other Delve spell, I think it's important to use our mana land correctly. So. Okay. Ooh, that's a good card. Uh-oh. Am I getting Chandra to death? What am I going to do with that? So I'll cast it. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Flip it. Or oh, run out. Aisha or a card? Oh. 
Aisha or a card? Do I level my hanger back or get you for one? These decks, these decks do run. Hmm. We have it. No, I'm just. I'm thinking. I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing with this card yet. No, it's fine. But yeah, I got a a thing over here. Kind of want plus. I don't think either is bad. I mean, I do potentially have a wrath in my hand because I did cast dig, but I don't know. Let's start attacking with that. Yep. Go to nine. All right. Yeah, I'll make a a Shia. Bye, Shia. And go. I guess when he fetches, I will. Yeah. Get to two. Fine. Definitely want two creatures in play if he does cast a wrath of some kind. I don't think one point's worth it. No, probably not. All right, so that's gonna put me down to eight. All right, draw. Let's see what happens. All right. Play land. I will play a Limvala, the Preserver. Uh, it's going to give me 5 up to 13. And we don't have any 4-4 four, four angels, or 3-3 three, three angels, so I'm just going to play... Put an Ollie and Charles into play with a three on it. Good enough, I suppose. Yep. Uh, and we're going to tap uh, this over an island because if somehow our Lavala dies or we want to trade it off or something, we might want to cast Dig. Uh, that's probably worse. I think it's pretty unlikely that happens. So. Go. Okay. All right. So I'll start off by plus and then us. Soren. Jeez. Not bad, I guess. I'm casting Sworn with whatever mana I got on me. <laughs> yep, that's uh, Othanissa. Oh, uh, so this a shy I can attack if I plus. Seems like the thing to do. Don't think making a Tom Ross does much, sadly. <laughs> okay, yep, plus attack with this. Alright, uh, I'm okay just soaking that there. Uh, we can potentially kill both those Planeswalkers next turn, which would be sweet. So uh, so we take 5 down to 8, you go 24? Yeah, I guess I'm casting my card. Maybe I should cast it for... I cast Sworn or plus Sworn, but don't think it'll matter too much. Alright, charge it. Alright, so he can level up to a 3-3 three, three on that, but not a bigger than that. So, let's see. All right, well, I'll start with a silk wrap on uh, the penguin token. And then I'm gonna add five Soren and three Nissa. Okay. All right. Now, we are at 8, and this is technically lethal here, but we do have a chump blocker, and we can cast this dig. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to start by removing two of these. Spinning two. I'm going to have one call is floating. Uh, we have tokens for floating mana somewhere, but whatever. I'm going to cast this dig. Delve in five, so I have one call is floating. I'm doing that because it, I may actually just need all these colors of mana to cast whatever I want to cast. So, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let me just take another Linvala, I suppose. It's kind of cool. Just cast the other one, like, next turn or so. Um, and then with the mana floating, we can actually just cast this to gain four life and draw a card, which is almost perfect. Um, yeah, I guess we can also take a reset button. All right, yeah, we'll take those two, put this on bottom, and I'll just cast Ojai's Command to gain four and draw, and hope we don't die to an Anthem or something. Um, I don't think I played a land. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't have a land at the beginning of the turn, so. All right, go. It's currently seven. 
Put that up to eight. I think any anthem will beat you. Uh, see, so it's four, seven, ten, so thirteen. Yeah, any anthem kills me. Ooh. But I didn't really have much of another play. I draw a great I card. Think. Oh, like I could have played Jace instead. Maybe playing Jace was a little bit better. Just because I could chump this potential five, and I'm at eight. No, it still would have killed me if you have an anthem. So I'll just level this twice and attack you for. Okay, so ten. Yep, I go to two. I gain three. Go to twenty-seven. Go. Threaten to kill him on a few angles. So I do believe that you do get uh, the angel if you cast second Lumvala. Not 100%, but for a brief moment you will have three creatures in play before you sack the uh, yeah, old I, I legend. Ended up, I ended up taking the wrong thing. I think I just killed myself. Um, let's see. Uh, play land for turn. Yeah, because I can't get the warden off the table and it's going to be an eight. You talk about three. It is big. I guess I have the Shamley event, so I'm technically a little higher. Yeah, we're two mana short of being able to plan your outburst and put a bunch of counters on a Shamley event and start beating down for a million life points. <laughs> um. So we can cast Jay's block with Shamble Event. See, can we just if we just cast Planar Outburst and attack with, uh, yeah, you'd still be able to attack for three. So okay, I guess I'll just play Jace and pray. Uh, all right, go. So this six man is going to be committed to the. Is there a two mana spell I really want to cast? I guess uh I guess Oath of Chandra could be a reason. To just solidify the, the win. Yeah, Ojas Command J has to block. Whatever, I'll cast. I'm casting a murder scud on something rather. Guess Slimbala? I think I'm just dead then, right? Because this is eight. I guess I would have to put like two guys here. Let's see if you kill Invala. Yeah. Are you going to attack with everything? Yeah. Well, I'm on right. tapping stuff first. Draw this Oath of Gideon. Hmm. All right. Deck's a little bit more resilient than I thought. All right. Here for game two. And uh, I'm on the play, but I did have to mulligan to six. Uh, which is a little weird with this clunker in hand, but uh, uh, hopefully with our scry and a few draw steps, we should be okay. Yeah, my hand looks pretty good. I think Othanessa will always complete a hand. I think it's pretty hard to mulligan any hand with this. All right, so uh, we do want a few more lands, but I think we actually just want to make sure we hit like black mana and a second blue, so I think we just have to bottom this haven, and uh, we'll just start off with island and say go. All right, cast this. Oof. Okay. Huh. Brick? So I believe... <laughs> pretty possible brick. Strange I can't get another oath. Well, no, you can just hit three oaths and then brick. Yeah, well, I guess I have to get that. Great. All right. All right. I'll draw. I'm going to play this majoring network and say go. I kind of want to crack this fetch because I kind of want to shuffle the bottom two cards back in my deck. So let me do that. Okay. 19, 20. I have a very few mana concerns at the moment with the Oath and this in play. Alright. Yep. Charge it. That's interesting. All right. Uh, mm. Where are we at? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Two, two. 
Yeah, I do. That hanger back's not doing me much damage. We're going to duress you. Okay. I have a couple planeswalkers. This is a little greedy because I kind of want this to be able to fetch a second blue source as well, but it's only going to punch us if we just draw monocolous lands for the rest of the game. All right, well, you can cast Nissa next turn, so I guess we'll just take that. I don't know. Sorn is not overly problematic since I can just beat him with Ugin as my win condition and uh say so go after that, sorry. And it's two more turns before that comes down versus Nissa coming down this turn and punishing me pretty badly. All right. Uh, so I'd say go, then I'd charge that when I could. I'll yep. fetch now. 18. All right, well. I'll play Silk Wrap on your dude. Instead. All right, here we go. So 18 to 12, 19. Good, what's good? This card do have how much mana can you make? I can take it up to three and the next turn tap it for three mana. So four, five, six, potentially seven. So I cannot cast Uga next turn. I think they could play ca Clash of Wheels, I forgot. Yes. It does? Yes. And negate. No. Oh well. <laughs> Resolved. Make a me, I guess. <laughs> All right, you're up. All right, charge mage ring. Let's attack you with some plants here in a second. Yeah. All right, go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what does that do for me? I don't know. You have so many cards in hand. Made ring. I guess it's efficient to cast it, so I guess I probably should. I don't remember what you saw with the, with the rest, but I will. I don't know. I didn't even write it down. Doesn't matter. Tap some random colors of mana and see what this, this card does. So lucky to have Oath of Nyssa. <laughs> Just cast all your cards. Alright. Look like it was all, so I'll make a guy. Wherever he is. There he is, right there. Pile of tokens over over to the right of me. Uh, plus Soren, check with that. Yep. Uh, so I go to sixteen. You go to twenty-one. Sounds about right. Okay. okay. Then I'm done. All right. Check this out. I was getting Slim Guard or something cool. No, I wish just Slim Ballad. Ooh. All right. So I'll gain five. Go to twenty-one. And I'll make a three-three, not a four-four angel. So you go. Can I make big enough attackers? I'd have to emblem my Gideon, I think, to do that. Oh. What does that do? Probably kills me, that's what I'm thinking. So I can make my guys big enough to attack. Well, I guess I should be... Uh, yeah, I think I want to just, uh, take up, uh, take up, uh, fight. All right, uh, trade for vampire, eat this guy. Okay. So you gain, uh, three, six, 12 plus, yeah, six, yeah, so you 33. go to 33, my angel Good dies, God. and boss stays. I will cast. I guess I'll cast this first. Oh. No. <laughs> and then, I guess you know about this one. I need to play it anyway. I'm about to take two. Oh it. wow! I'm about to take two on my instep. All right, I'll go to nineteen. You get a plant. Yeah, plus make a plant. Wow, this is horrible. Just <laughs> so many things in play. All, all right, right, let's let's group them all like permanents together, like on Magic Online. If you say so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows how Magic Online actually works. So you take two, go to 13 because of this trigger. Oh, yeah, I forgot I took the six from the dude. All right. 
I got trips. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Float four. Right. Uh, blue. Blue. Uh, so, so let's see. I have four mana floating. Delve three. Uh, four, five. So I got one colors floating to cast the dig. Cool. Oh, now I feel like an idiot. The... Well, I don't know. All right, well, we screwed up, and hopefully we get really lucky next turn. Um, I think we're pretty close to just dying here. Just me in a desperation move, but... All right, take these two. Hope we just draw an untapped land next turn to actually clear. But uh, We're going to use the Call is Floating, play this, activate this, and I'll attack... Nissa. So this plant gonna attack for at least one. Do I wanna threaten anything? I guess that's okay. Okay, come think at I fifteen. I think I wanna plant. Go. Right. Useful. What can I do? Make a plant emblem? I think I'm supposed to smack them for a bunch. So I get for six, seven. Seven. Let's get rid of this Nessa. Is that good? I think I do want to get rid of this Nessa. Alright, let me play this. Yuck. I'm going to activate it. Okay. We'll plus this. Plus that. Get rid of this. Okay. Put a counter on that and this and strangely enough that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Uh, so there's a seven. Seven, that's two. Eight, nine. So I'll go to six. I gained good. some amount. 42. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right. Uh, it's actually... Yeah, I think I'm at six. I was at 15, I took nine. Uh, I'm actually going to go to five here. So I put, like, I had two or three lands on the bottom of my deck that all come to play untapped. Yeah, I put two. So fetching out a land here, I think, is actually uh, better than trying to... I'm not actually thinning my deck by doing this. I'm actually increasing the number of untapped lands randomly in my deck by by one. Cool. Mar marginal, but hope you break. Hope I don't. <laughs> Dead. <Ooh. laughs> Tight. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't use all my ra majoring network counters. That was that was bad. All right, so down two games. Uh, gonna have to mix things up a little bit here. I think. Uh, Monster Mentor is going to be very good at uh, helping pressure his Planeswalkers early in the game. Um, I think one of the best things that a black and white deck can do at the moment is cast Monster Mentor into Duress. Uh, so hopefully on the same turn, on turn four. Usually that that combination of one-two punch and then followed up with like basically any non-creature spell in the next turn is pretty insane. And hopefully that is what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're also bringing a couple Disdainful Strokes. Basically just max counters to hopefully... Um, stop all of his planeswalker threats and eh, that probably means we're going to get beaten by other things which is not great uh second dragon lord slumgar also good uh we're cutting most of our spot removal most of our removal in general i'm going to rely pretty hard on ugin uh as well as mentor and duress to really just like control uh his turns in the early game to buy us enough time to find our ugin and as well as fill our graveyard uh for dig through time since i feel like we're having a little trouble doing that uh, I think Scatter the Ones is, is okay, but it, it's uh, not a great counter spell. The double blue I've actually found with all of the, the mana base issues, uh, just having double blue and black and white has been a little problematic with the three majoring networks. So I think I'm just going to cut this for consistency issues. Ochai's Command, um, 
He doesn't have that many creatures in his deck, and most of them come down a little earlier than Oshai's Command can counter them. Uh, Planar Outburst, I think, is okay, but it, it doesn't really stop the problem. The problem is the Planeswalkers, and I think if I stop those, I won't actually need Planar Outburst to, to clean up the rest. Murderous Cut, Immolating Glare, pretty bad against his deck that's just mostly Planeswalkers and tokens. So. We're getting one of them in. Okay. So... Oath of Chandra didn't look very good uh, for, in his main deck. I didn't kill anything except maybe uh, an angel token or sometimes his actual Invala if he attacks. Maybe Shambling Vin if he blocks, but not really. Seemed like the weakest card. I don't know about Chandra Flamecaller. When you can't minus X for good value, it's probably not all that great. Although the plus one is pretty good. That's another card I'm pretty unsure about, so I am uh, keeping one in. We may rock. Life game doesn't matter that much. He can sweep. He has two creatures, but... Got to cut some, and the ward in the first trees. I'm going down to one. Maybe I should just go down to zero. I think they're pretty poor when you have evolutionary leap in your deck. And I think I would cut all of them and just leave the Chandra. In. I'm I am deathly afraid of that card. Okay. Like just the the draw an extra card seems great. Uh, you can the plus one just deals me six. Like I very rarely have a lot of uh have blockers to keep from just dying. All right, I'm convinced. Mm. Then I'm bringing in uh, the evolutionary leaps. They look very good against any kind of removal, spot removal, whatever kind of removal. It's also a card advantage with. You know, sacrifice plant tokens or hanging back walker or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh Siege be good to combat his long game. It's uh, my version of dig through time, I suppose. Um, most, like I said, most of my cards are proactive. I play on my own main phase. All I have is this running volley. That's kind of situational. Maybe secure the waste or murder cut. But for the most part, everything should be good hits. A dim protector, another threat that brings back anything. I don't have any delve cards, so my graveyard will just be full of options. Then running volley, just an upgrade to Oath of Chandra. And P and Karen Nalar, I think these Thopters will be pretty good. Um, they might actually uh, threaten an Ugin. Like, he has a Ugin minus four, and then, like, I still have these two Thopters, and maybe alongside some kind of effect, I can actually just attack the Ugin to death. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's what I'm going with, eight for eight. So okay. eight. Cool. All right, this hand looks pretty similar to the hands we've been having, which is probably not good for us, but I, st I don't think we can mulligan this seven. Uh, yeah, hopefully it does okay. Yeah, I want to bust out this combo. I don't have white mana yet. Maybe this oath will fix it. We'll see. Cool. Probably going to wait. Uh, sorry. Oh, cheat your thing. Ooh. Great options. All right. Take, it'll take a minute. Maybe you can explain your thing while I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think a lot of people here would just fire off a dress on turn two, but uh, I think in a, in a deck like this, like charging your majoring network is actually pretty important. And the fact that he has very few two drops that I might want to duress means that I think I'm just going to uh, wait until turn three duress after charging uh, Majoring Network. Yeah, I'm going to take Hagenbrack Walker because, you know, just curve concerns. Just want to do something next turn. Don't forget to reveal it, bro. Oh, it's fine. Is. Just saying. All right, go. The world saw it. Oop. The world? Yeah, everybody. Everybody except, back. everybody except the person that matters most. What's up? My mom. Just kidding. Alright, that was an interesting draw. Alright, I'll duress. I'm duressed. Um, so both of a Gideon. And a wingmate rock. This card even matter? Could mm -hmm. matter. Alright, I'll take Soren. Did. Uh, go. Why'd he give me that? Is he not scared of Oath of Gideon at all? I guess not. I don't even know what it does. I know it makes two one ones. I ain't a feared. Good bet. Oh. Uh. Seem too suspicious. Let me hit you. All right, nineteen. I'm gonna cast. Oh, I guess I'm playing my white land with Nessa. Fast Woods here. Oh, okay. There's some chance he had to rest there, or not to rest, uh, negate there. Mm-hmm. So, so get my forest and pass my turn. All right, weird spot here where I think I still just want to tick up Majoring Network instead of cast some other thing. So we're just gonna do that. So, 18 to 20. OK. 
Okay, all right. Go. Boom. Let's cast. You guys want all these cards, right? So it don't matter. Except when he drew this turn. Cast this Oath of Gideon. Sure. So you get two doofuses. Right there. Attack you with Anessa. Alright, I'll go 16. Okay, go. Um. Yeah, I think I'd rather anticipate here over charging. Yeah. We'll do that. Ooh, saw too many. Gonna get fired. I'll we'll be sure. charging after your anticipate resolves. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I know there's a Jace on top, so before I put stuff on bottom, I'm gonna shuffle because I accidentally just saw an extra card. Cause that's how rules work, kind of. Are you just gonna draw it anyway? Yeah, I mean, I guess so, but it it, it does change what I take. Well, then you have to set those two cards on bottom, then shuffle. Whatever. I'm just gonna draw a Jace. <laughs> so what should have happened? It's not even gonna do anything. I don't even want it. Eek. Yep. Alright, so I'll gain five up to twenty one and make an Ollie three three. Go. So Laval's looking pretty sweet. Unfortunately the rest of the cards in my deck do not. Can I even cast this card? No? Okay. Well, better. I wish I had a way to block your stuff. Giving me business. Maybe I just... Oh, I can block like that, I suppose. Hmm. Alright, let's play this. Let's cast... This. Ew. I guess I'll level this hanger back now. Okay. That's super gross. Alright, good. Alright, attack for eight. YOLO. Yeah, whatever. Twelve. Alright, twelve twenty one. Alright, I'll play a mentor and say go. I should use this leap. Nah, maybe I don't need it. Kind of like uh, everything's going on here. Still can't cast a card in my hand. My 12 life. Don't want to draw any more lands. Crack this blood same mark going to 12 or oh, 11. Getting something. Okay, eleven to twenty-one. That's another red green. In case I really want to go deep on evolutionary leap. Probably not. <laughs> I'll probably attack with this hanger back. Although I do kind of. Pretty sure I'm not gonna block. So if he negates, the card three. Mm-hmm. I guess I should try it. Ugh. Guess I didn't have a tap like that. Yep. Yeah. Well, disdainful stroke. Make a Jacob Wilson. So one one. These are not uh, three three one one stuff. Second core I like can attack. You could probably block it. So I can sacrifice it and go get something cool. True. Yeah, I'll just cut me. Do I even care if you cut me right now? Probably not. I love this. It's fine. Uh, okay, go. Cool. All right, Jacob Wilson in attack mode. Ooh. That was something. I ain't gonna do that yet. I want to block with it. What? 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 I see how Got into a bad habit of doing it during my turn. 
forgot you have ground creatures now. Attack for eight. Uh, probably should bust this. No, I'll level it now. Okay. Oh, uh, Evo leap it. Okay. Mm, where are so they? So you get four thopters. I don't know, man. There's so many tokens over here. No, we got enough. You can find them. I got the protector in my hand. Okay. I'll just block Linval level one. All right, so you take three down to eight? Yeah. Well, I'm at. Wait, 11, eight. Yeah, you're right. All right. Um, probably going to use all my mana over the next turn, so we'll anticipate. Probably should have done this before tax because it might have changed the uh, what happened um yeah so we don't have enough blue to cast all these cards so i think i'll just take another one of these put these two on bottom and say go mm. it's a bad one what's in even in my deck that and that oh, this works trigger my nissa this one Do I need? Shall I do anything? Mm, yes. Should you do anything? Yeah, I think you should do no, something. Does Ashaya do anything on this board? Or does just one another? Does a little bit. I think we're about two thopters. Okay, I'll make a Shia. Kind of scared to attack. Yeah, I'll cast a card first. Resolves. <laughs> I want to need more counters. Oh, God. All right. I'll play a flan. Why not? Okay. Found the morphs. They weren't in the right place, though. I blame Brad Nelson. Two thoughters or one? What should I attack you? I don't know, man. Might just die. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, <laughs> one one thoughter. <laughs> 20. All right, go. All right. Dig. Whatever. All right. Running out of space. Trigger. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So he's got one card in hand. I don't know what it could be that a duress would hit. I feel like he has enough mana to cast just about everything. And if it was a planeswalker, he probably would have played that instead of the morph. Probably. Um. So. Uh, maybe it's just better though to make more tokens. So all right, sure. I'm just gonna try to overwhelm you, I suppose. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the token deck now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got so oh, many. Wait a second. I don't think this has extra loyalty on it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. That's cool. So, say when it comes into play. When Plane Walker your control enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to tap all six manas. Play a Mentor. Play a Duress. Triggers. I got a Wingmate Rock. All right. So, I did run out of Jacob Wilson, so we're going to use Penguin Monks. All right. All right. Uh, these two have so many sickness. Cheese and rice. I got two left, so we'll play this. Sweet. Uh, attack with these. And these. Sure. Those are three? Threes? They sure are. No, they're twos. Sorry. Twos. Shaw's block one. That's pr maybe it's a bad attack. Probably. All right, I'll just jam for eight. All at me. Yep. Um. Lock one voila. Go to five. I think. Are you tapped out? Hold on a second. I am tapped out. You're gonna gain like three thousand. Oh, I guess I got blocked because I'm 
I would die otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice that token. Okay, sure. Chandra. Can you use that? Chandra geese? I ain't got no more creatures in my deck. I really don't have many. Yeah, oh. you got like dim protectors, hanger backs, or whatever. Mono dim protectors left. Yeah, you got. You already got your one wingmate, so it's just that's your last dim. So it's all hanger backs left. Yeah, now it's now it's just hangers. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. All right. Oh man. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Just. Don't want to sacrifice anything else. Probably not. Did you pass? I think you did. Yeah, I did. I'm I'm about two seconds from conceding. Are you You're just gonna gain so much life? All right. I just don't want to play doing? anymore. <laughs> oh, that's a really good card. Oh man, weird. <laughs> Plus this. Okay. Wind swept teeth. I'll crack it before. Lost my pen. Too much. There is too much garbage on the board. We need a. I'm garbage. Floating. We need a trash man. Where's Ugin? Don't need to crack this mire yet. We probably will anyway. Man. Yeah, wherever we go. Okay. So to, to the rock, I could rock and Soren. Yeah, because you got Oath of Nyssa. Or I could rock. No, I could Soren and Dim Protector. What did that do? Nothing. Rocking a sword probably seems the, the bestest. I gotta say, man, I hate games of magic like this. I just, this is too much. This is too much stuff. <laughs> Poor. Sensory overload. Maybe gaining that much life? I don't know. A reasonable amount. Oh, uh, six. Losing count. Six, eight, eleven plus six. Seventeen? That's not even that much. Are you serious? That's, that's a lot. I mean, you might just no, nah, because I have to, also have to like block with some of this. Maybe I mean I don't know if I can just afford to take seventeen damage. I'm not the one getting four hundred life. All right, well, I'll start by casting it. Okay. Off. Non white mana. Smart. Doesn't matter, man. Just tap. Okay, it. okay. <laughs> can I play with extra counter because I got this. Yeah, oath, the oath of. So it has five already. I'll go set. Okay. Uh yeah okay I'll attack you. With some good stuffs. All right. Well, I can't block Dim Protector. Uh, so this is what? 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I think I do want to put a token each here and probably want to jump block this guy. So we're going to take 2, 4, plus 4 is 8. So we're going to take 8. Your two cores die. Uh, I go to 12. Uh, you go to 21. Excellent. Okay, now what am I doing? Play Wingmate Rock. You ain't tricking me, are you? I no. <laughs> sure. Okay. What else do you I have, have to, to play? To this. So I'm at twenty now. I guess you could not play it, but then you you might actually just die to all my prowess if you don't play a thing. Yeah. So twenty to twelve. Bird. Tell you what, if I randomly end up. Winning this game, I will just concede because I I was trying to get get you through the the two minute long sequence of give me a do stuff casting a sword and gaining seventeen and playing a wingmate rock. Hey man, I got options. I know you got options, and they're all boring. <laughs> oh wow, that was good. I actually might have just killed you. Great. No, nah, maybe so. Block here, no, block here, 4, 8, 11, 14, 17. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little short. Sweet. Let's see. Uh, start with the duress, trigger all this junk. I got a merge cut you got. All right, great. All right. Loot with Jace. I really need to hit an untapped black source, and then I think I do... Am able to kill you this turn. Bricked. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Nope, I did need a black source. Okay. Tilt. 
need to be able to cast this duress again and another black spell. I don't think I'm dead though, which is unfortunate because I'm starting to get checked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best to kill you next turn. Yeah. What's nah, on? I drew a card that makes it almost impossible, so. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so. These are just. They're just three fours, no lifelink. Yeah. Alright. Um. Well, maybe that's bad. Alright, whatever. Uh, bounce this token and destroy Soren. Okay. And trigger these. All right, um, this is going to Nissa. Uh, and I guess everything else. Oh wait, no, I can put these two tokens at Nissa, and then e he'll eat one no matter what, and then the rest can go at him. But if I just send one guy, he can just eat that. If I send two guys, he can just eat one of these for free-ish. But he can eat one of these free-ish anyway. All right, Nissa, you. So I'm gonna eat this thing right here. Sure. Go ahead. These are fours, right? Yeah, four, four, and five. So that's 13. All right, I'll eat that. All right. So, eight and five is 13. You go to seven. Miss dead. Uh, Jace tick up on... Rock? Like, yeah. You want to do that before you attacked? Been smart? Yeah, that's smarter. All right. So, I get my three, three back. Whatever. All right, okay. did this before I attacked. I'm trying to play too fast. Go. Alright. Now what do I do? I don't know. Those I did just I did just tokens. draw the nutter butters. Yeah. All These right. could not attack last turn. Did I do anything? Can't tell. So I can bring back Soren. I guess I'll, I'll start. He's also cut. Bring back Soren, I could attack for six. Uh ten. Ten unblockable. And gain ten or gain fifteen, and I'll have a dim protector. And I'll probably die. Maybe not. Maybe not. If I attack Jace for for seven. Or attack Jace for six. I'm sorry. Oh, also gain life for each attacker. That's good. Okay. True. Yeah, I'll flip this. Get my sword. Okay. Plus my sword. <laughs> Okay. It's on six again. Mm -hmm. For the sweet stuff. Yeah, I guess these will attack Chase since they, I can't kill you anyway. And those will attack you. Okay. Um, so I'm at 12. I, I gain five right now. From yeah, so you go to 12 immediately, and then you're going to end up gaining, uh, what, two, four, six, uh, 10, 15, 15 so 27, no matter stuff. how I block, so let's do that, and then if I, I can either chump a Shia or not, and right now was it's 5, and 4 is 9 coming at me, so yeah, I'll block 1, let's bang one out of here. Take 4 combat damage, go to 9? Yep, no, I was at 12, I should go to 8, I think. Okay. Yeah, I blocked here, this is coming at me, these are going at Jace, Jace is going to die. Yeah, this is a... You got shrunk from Jace. So yeah, this guy shrunk from Jace, but it's still gonna kill Jace because it's two four six. All right, my turn. Yeah, great. Let's see if this works. See if we can kill him from twenty seven. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked. I might have to like redo some math here and just take that nah, man. five play. That should be dead too. Oh, it's it should not. be, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, too much, too much takes these backsies. All right, start it off here. Oh wait, no, I discarded my. Oh wow, I'm so stupid. Sweet. Yeah. Uh. Go. No, that's bad. Want to smack the sword a little bit, at least? Could just. Well, problem is I might just die to this, but I'm at eight. All right, let's see. Oh, 
Huh. Hmm. All right, 36, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 21, 24. Man, I'm so stupid. Just discarding that dig through time. What am I doing? Eight. All right. Um, tech. Uh, these at Sora and this at you. You can't cast no, a spell, right? I have not cast a spell, no. Well, can't keep Soren alive. I guess I'll block for the heck of it. All right. Uh, before damage, gonna exile Wingmay Rock, make two tokens, and then I'll trade off with your Den Protector. 31, then that's 8 damage to me. Yep. 23. This will die. And this is it, too. All right. Mm, go. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> You're at 21. Would I have killed you if I didn't block with that Den Protector? I don't know. Maybe. I'm like no, I could have I could have blocked the... I, I would have waited till my turn, and then I would have done uh, it, okay. and then been able to block. Well, I think I'm about... No, I'm not point short. I think I got you. All right. I play with Nissa Voices in the car. Okay. Off, off random mana. True. All right, then I'll put a counter on each of my guys. Okay. And I'll attack you for eight. Play the counter two. All right, thank God. Dead. <laughs> 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 All right, on the play here in a pretty big hole, one that we cannot technically get out of in this video, unfortunately. But we're going to keep battling on, see if we can at least pick one of these games up. Uh, Yeah, this hand looks reasonable. We'll keep. And slow. Can't really cast much, but this is for All right, go. Piece it all together. One of, the, I'm sure. one of these days, I'm going to be able to cast Ugin, but Angry. mostly my fault <laughs> that I wasn't able. Wow! How lucky! <laughs> Tight. Go. We did oh, it. Oh man, I'm flooded. I'm running well at that. <laughs> of course. That's what I want to do, right? What if I draw? No. I don't think maybe if I draw Nissa, I won't cast it, but I don't. I'm good. Alright, 19. Um, yeah, go. <laughs> I'm at 19. I'm casting uh, that Nissa. That Nissa? Yeah, it resolves. Okay. Get a forest, your turn. Alright, we're going to fetch a. I believe a blue white and tapped, and then we're gonna cast an anticipate. Alright, so I'm at 18. Uh, I'm at 19. Yep. Top three. I think we just want lands at this point. Mm. Lands and card draw. This duress could be good, but it doesn't really do what we want with the rest of our hand. Um, we're going to take the delta over the sunken hollow since it can get an untapped land. We may want to use it. Go. Ooh. Ooh. What's best for my curve? Probably this. Uh, yeah, casting black, white, sword. All right, we're definitely going to counter him. Okay. I think we want to use negate, so we'll do that. All right, 16. I'm done. I'm going to go to 15. I'm going to get I guess an island. That'll make future battle lands come into play untapped, which is nice. <sighs> and I'm going to cast another anticipate. You got it. All right. Still want lands or dig through time or that. Found a good one. No, found two good ones, but <laughs> <laughs> neither of them are really what I need. Need, but go. 
he just cast Anticipate? Basically. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's back. <laughs> All right. Wait, that's half right? Did not. What's that better? Sure. So... Maybe cast... Yeah, that's bad. I'm stupid. Okay, that's... I'm going to get whooped by Nissa now because I didn't uh, I cast the right spell earlier. Definitely want red. Can't get white. We'll cast the other Nessa. Okay. Make a plant. Yep. Back with that Nessa. Alright, 13. Go trigger this oath. Uh, 11. Alright, uh, kill your planeswalker, minus 3, your creature. Nessa's down. Nessa's down. Go. Come on, land. Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. I think I'll cast it all. Yeah, I'll tin protector and flip it. Okay. Get one swept teeth and crack it. 17. Need to get a white green. There. Green oath. Yep, green oath time. All right. Oh, what are some goodies? Land, enchantment, creature. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, go. All right. Need to dig through time, or I guess another Jace would be fine. There you go. Probably gonna get the sample strokes if I try anything too hard. Bring his cash stuff and things. Cast stuff and things. Let me cast I can use any kind of mana. Perfect. <laughs> cast this Nissa. Okay. Let me cast this hanger back for one. Okay. The minus Nissa. Okay. <laughs> All right. Attack with my things. Oh. Huh. Maybe I should have fought a little harder. <laughs> Not casting that disdainful stroke on that Swarn was real bad in general. All right. Let's do this. Probably should have done this in response to the Nissa. Try to find a negator or something. Nope, just dead. For the most part. Great. Alright, well, we'll take a land that doesn't deal us a damage. And a removal spell. And I'm going to take all that damage down to six. 5. This is be 6, right? I'm at 11. Yes, it's only 5 damage. Four, oh, sorry. Yep. And then I'm going to go to four from the... Oof. Oh, yep. All right. I don't know how you beat these, these cards in my hand. They're wonderful. I don't believe you. I'm going to steal your Den Protector. Stole. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't beat that one either. All right, cool. Hit you. <laughs> Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably lose even if you just zero it. <laughs> like, there's just no way out. I cry mercy. All right. I yeah. accept. <laughs> so uh, we're only going to play four games today. We're running a little short on time as far as uh, studio time is concerned. Apologies for that. But I think we got about as much as we needed out of this video. Um, yeah, uh, I cast everything I wanted to cast. I think all the interactions came up. I uh, got Soren on six a couple times, but it got killed. But still, the threat of it is huge. Yeah, and it, it would definitely be a much bigger threat against something like Abzan Aggro or uh, any deck without, like, Hangerback Walker or non-control deck. Just, you know, creature-heavy decks that aren't uh, control-based. And uh, Anyway, uh, my deck uh, definitely has some flaws. It, it, it felt like um, I never had really enough cards to put in my graveyard to make Limvala good. Uh, Anticipate felt really bad. 
Just in general. Yeah, I don't like the card at all. Yeah, I mean, I was usually using it to hit land drops, and I'd much rather just, like, play Divination or something, you know? And I know that may- means not holding up counter spells, but as you can see, I was just getting pummeled by, uh, you know, random, a relentless a amount of tokens. <laughs> yeah, just a relentless amount of, of, you know, varying threats that I can't counter everything, you know? And, I mean, there were some spots where I, I misplayed and, and maybe could have won the games uh, by doing something different, or at least one of the games. You know, the one where I use all my counters on Majoring Network because I was panicking. That was bad. Yeah, your deck seems real tough to play and didn't give any room for error. My deck is just a pile of fun stuff. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, the mana needs work, of course. I don't know how important Wingmate Rock is for the deck. It's a great card, but getting double white is, is tough. Um, the Planeswalkers are easy to cast because of Oath of Nyssa. Uh, so basically, going forward, I might just go down, maybe to the No Rocks, maybe see if these Warden of the First Trees are doing anything, maybe go to more of an oath, kind of Planeswalker, kind of get your deck on them. Yeah, so uh, Tom's deck, a lot of fun. Bring bring the right tokens, though. You don't want to be that guy who <laughs> just has paper. eight different tokens and just is like, yeah, right, using dice as tokens. Backwards and, cards, nah, you don't want that. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to do that, so make sure you come prepared if you want to play something like that. Tom's deck was a lot of fun. Uh, my deck is fairly flawed. Uh, as my my decks tend to be when a, a new set comes out, unfortunately, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I didn't put up a great fight, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching uh, Tom's deck since that was the big showcase with a lot more new cards than what I was playing. I felt like the new Limvala is really good, though. It is. It's just know, wonderful. Yeah, just gain the five life, make eight power with the flying creatures. Um, I don't know. It just it, it looked good. I feel like in certain decks it, it could be a little bit better uh, once it can uh, leverage, you know, playing a bunch of spells early to just uh, keep the board mostly clean so when you play her, you just get the token and that's it. Like, you're you're not... You have to find the sweet spot where you're not too far behind that it doesn't catch you all the way up. Um, but, you know, you want to make sure you get max value out of it. So playing it along something like Soulfire Grandmaster might not be great um, just because you might gain too much life. Right. Which, which is kind of funny. Uh, playing it along, like Siege Rhino, same thing. You know, you might just have too much incidental life gain for it to actually trigger. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be all for me and Tom today, I suppose. Yeah, it's a pre-release this weekend. Don't have an open event. But after that is the opening Atlanta where we'll be playing the first week of Standard. So maybe I'll be playing this deck or, I don't know, the whole spoiler will be out by then, by the time you see this, I believe. Mm-hmm. So our next video, we'll figure it out. We'll have more cards from both the Gatewatch to work with. Yep, so make sure you guys check out uh, all the rest of the videos this week and next week. We're just going to be playing more Oath of the Gatewatch Standard in preparation for the upcoming Opens. Uh, The Pro Tour should be coming up soon, but unfortunately that one's going to be modern. Uh, We're just going to be doing a lot of testing for Standard uh, for the next few weeks, so make sure you guys check that out. Anyway, guys, uh, for Tom Ross, I'm Todd Anderson, and thanks for watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. See you.